Okay. We are now streaming live. Okay. So every time I stream live on Zoom, it always starts way before I think it's starting. So I'm going to put myself here on my phone so that I can see you guys and hopefully see comments because otherwise it'll be super late, uh, super late response. So this is the best I could do here. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? I wanted to come on here real quick. It's not my regular day, but I, while it's fresh in my mind, I wanted to uh, address it and let you guys know about it because it could be happening to you right now. Who knows? So if you guys are logging in right now, please say hello. I would love to chat with you guys about this topic, but it's something that you might, that might be happening right now on your profile that you don't know about that you can change right now. So that's the main thing we're going to talk about. And then I mentioned something else later, if I remember what it was, because I thought of another thing that I wanted to tell you guys about. But anyways, um, if we have not met yet, and it's your first time here, please say hello. I'm Eileen Elvira. I'm here to inspire, motivate, educate entrepreneurs like you on how to use attraction marketing skills to grow your business online. Hey, Christine. Christine just messaged me. I'm going to have to check that out. What's up, Philip? I'm looking down because I can see your comments here on my phone. And I wanted to put a background today because I don't know. I just felt like it. Doesn't it look cool? It's like super blurry. <laughs> like I like that blurry effect. Anyways, I noticed it today because I was chatting uh, with someone today and you know who you are. You're probably going to watch this a little bit later. You always watch me on replay, which is cool. But on your profile, many of us, and we're going to go a lot deeper into this topic during the workshop that I'm planning for Tuesday. So look out for that opt-in page that I want you guys to opt in for that. It's a free workshop and it was going to, it's coming up on Tuesday, March 30th. So uh, hold that date, but just a little tip, go to your profile and I'm going to share my screen here if I can. And I'm going to share this profile page. Okay. So you see my profile page. Now I don't have it. I have mine properly done here, but for some newbies out there, or maybe you set your profile up a long time ago and you haven't brought it up to date yet or haven't made any changes because you just didn't think about it. If you look here in the intro section, okay, many of you have in your details, your company, you know, you're the founder at so-and-so, or you're a stylist at so-and-so, or you're a health and wellness coach in so-and-so, and you have your business link. Now, this is really quick, something you can do just to check, make sure you don't, this is not happening to you. So I remember when I first started my second company, it was a couple of years ago, I had put the company name here in the intro. Okay, I hope you see my cursor turning around there. But I had put my company name here and it just said affiliate at and then the company name and didn't realize that it wasn't my link. So every time someone said, ooh, I want to see what Eileen is up to, what is she selling or what's her opportunity? Maybe I want to join her opportunity or you know anything that had to do with the company, they would click on it and it would go to the company. So pretend I'm not at Senegens anymore. So let's use them as an example. So be at Senegens, right? If you clicked on it, it would go on the main page, you know, Senegens.com. So when they shopped or they wanted to join the opportunity, it would go to a random person. Like it would uh, just, because the company doesn't know who they want to sign up with. So they'll assign you someone or they'll ask you if you want to get assigned someone. And even if you said, no, no, I want Eileen, there would be no way for them to know unless you had my number. And some people won't go through that trouble. They just want the product. So they'll buy the product and they don't care if you get credit for it or not, or if you, if they join the opportunity, they, they're not going to be under you, you know, and you don't want that to happen. So make sure that when you have your company name up here in the intro, that it's actually your link and not the general company link. Okay. So I caught a person today and I was like, I had to tell her right away. I was like, girl, you got to change it right now, you know, so that you don't 
uh, lose out on an opportunity. Okay, so that is one thing. And we're going to go much more in depth in your personal profile during the workshop. But that's what I wanted to tell you today, something really quick. Another thing that I encountered today is someone asking me or telling, you know, like just tell me a little bit about their business and saying, you know, here is what is happening now. And I'm, I can't seem to get any sales and doesn't matter if I come on here every day or, you know, show the latest specials or discounts or whatever um, or offer. I'm still not getting any sales. And this is a common thing. And we have to remember that one of the key, like top key reasons why we don't succeed in this business is because we're not in front of the right audience. Now, audience is key. It's key. It's almost when it comes to the practical or not the practical, but the mechanics of network marketing or, or, or having your own business, right? And I say mechanics because I always say 80% of growing a business is mindset, is psychology. So the other 20% is mechanics. So the, at the top of that tier in the mechanics, you have to have the right audience. It is like selling grade A Wagyu beef to a vegetarian, right? We don't want to do that. And so one of our goals is to be in, is to get in front of the correct audience. So that means that we need to attract the correct audience. And that, you know, that comes in time. It doesn't happen overnight, but it is what happens when you start to personal brand yourself, when you start using attraction marketing. Let me stop sharing this. Actually, I want to show you my website real quick. This is something that you guys can do is create a website like this, this is, I'm working on a new one right now, but this is the current one. And that just has some of your things here so that they can, you can brand yourself. Here's how my new one's gonna look. And that way people will get to know who you are and they'll join up with you. I have the, the, the workshop event here. So I plan to try to put this out to you guys very soon, but it probably won't go out before the workshop. So I just wanted you guys to get a little glimpse of that, a little sneak peek of that website. But when you are attracting the right audience and the audience that considers you their tribe, you know, considers you like-minded like them. Like I got a message today that said, I saw you on an interview. I really like your style. Okay, like a, a comment like that's pretty awesome because that means that, you know, they friend requested me because not only did they like what I was talking about, but they seem to resonate with me personally. Like they like my style. And I, I do the same thing. You know, sometimes I get attracted to people who like the same things I do, right? So it's the same as you. And in order to do that, you need to really get yourself exposure as much as possible. So for those of you who are afraid of doing Facebook Lives, are afraid of posting personal photos of you, you know, selfies or whatever on your business page or even on your profile, if you're doing business on your profile, you need to start getting over that. <laughs> Basically building your public persona. And I don't mean fake persona, okay? I don't mean be someone that you're not. I mean, be ready to be yourself in the public and make sure that who you are in the public is who you are in person, in, you know, within your own personal friend group, you know, because that is what's really going to elevate your business. It's going to get you in front of the right audience. It's going to keep them loyal to you because you're, you're not being fake and you never have to live in this lie of, you know, this imposter syndrome, right? When I first started on here, I didn't come on here, you know, acting all successful, you know, seven figure person. Like when I first came on here, I, you know, I got down to business and I told everybody, listen, this is my journey. You know, I'm just starting out at this attraction marketing, yada, yada. And I hope you guys will get on my journey with me and, you know, follow me and maybe you can learn anything, you know, something from my journey. And this is what I said when I first started this page. And this is 
how you can start a page of your own, a business page of your own, or even if you're doing business on your profile, maybe to start your first Facebook Live. That's what you want to do. You want to introduce yourself. You want to tell them where you're at in your business because it doesn't matter. They they want to be relatable. Like they want you to be relatable. And if they're starting off as new newbies, right, then it's great to see when you're being honest and you're saying, look, I've only been doing this for three months or whatever, because then they will follow you because they'll be like, I am on the same journey as Eileen or, or Ruth, <laughs> hey Ruth, or Christine, you know, and that's how you get your loyal audience, those people who are, you know, they have your back, you know, and I already see that a lot of you have my back, like if people are, you know, posting like bad things on my Facebook page, I see a couple of you, you know, tell those people, hey, don't do that here, you know, and I don't, and that's, that's so awesome. Like, I feel so blessed to have friends like you, who have, you know, started at different points in my journey, but now have gotten to know me um, through these videos. So that's the kind of effect you want to have on your audience as well. And the only way you do it is if you get out there and expose yourself not in a bad way. Please do not expose yourself in a bad way, <laughs> but in a good way. Okay. So that's what I wanted to leave you guys with today. Something short and sweet. Go check your intro, your bio in your profile. Make sure you got your link on there and not the company link in general. In fact, I don't, I do not recommend putting your company anywhere <laughs> in your profile because we are attraction marketers. We don't really tell people what our company is until they're ready to hear it. And usually that's when they come to you. Okay. So you're telling them to come to you before you are willing to tell them about your opportunity, about your company and such and such. Now it's different in my Facebook coaching group because we are going to be more close knit there. We are going to know what each other's companies are because we are networking in that coaching group. We're not prospecting in the coaching group. Whether you want to, you know, look at somebody else's company, that's great. And that's your decision, but it's not a prospecting group. And that's why I ask you guys, or I say, Hey guys, let's share our links. Let's share our company in the group because we are in a collaborative group. So, but on your profile, you want to create curiosity in your profile. So you want, you don't want to put your company all out there with your products and everything like that. You want to create curiosity. So like I said, we're going to go a lot into that during the workshop next week. So I hope to see you there. Cross your fingers that I get that opt-in page in today. I've had another crazy busy day with my mom and, you know, it's not her fault. You know, she's, this is her first week here. So we're kind of getting things you know, settled. And this time it was that she forgot something at home and I had to, I have to reorder it from the pharmacy and Northern California and Southern California Kaiser, apparently they're not related. <laughs> they're distant cousins. And so it's very hard sometimes to get things done up here, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. And um, then let, you know, this is her second week. So hopefully by the third week, we've got it all settled and she can enjoy her two months here and I can start settling into a better daily, daily mode of operation. Also, before I go, please check out my stories. I promise I'm going to start going and doing stories in on the business page more often. I was kind of getting the hang of doing it consistently on my personal page. And now I have that down pat. And so now I have to or not have to, but I get to do it here now on the business page. So hopefully you guys are checking out my stories here on the business page or on my Instagram page. I'll set up all my, my social media in my, in my bio. So you guys can check that out as well. So anyways, I'm going to go now and let you guys go. I hope you guys have a blessed evening or the rest of the day. I will see you guys again in my next video. Stay well, stay safe and live abundantly. Talk to you guys later. Aloha.